Dutch and took it like real, um, really smart kids, really, really smart kids. Um, so I'm so impressed with what they picked up and, and how much fun they had. So again, like, this is just a showcase. It's not like a show or performance or anything. So we're going to put our scripts on stage. Um, and you'll see how much they've annotated it and how much we've done a lot of scansion and making the noun sound like what they mean and pushing the verbs and all this really um, kind of mathy stuff to bring on stage and have a really fleshed out performance. So again, we're gonna bob and weave from story to scene to monologue really quickly. So you have the little pamphlets that might help to just understand what's going on in the, in the context of the play that uh, it's in. Um, yeah, so without further ado, please enjoy our showcase. Um, yeah, take it away, y'all. Oh, four of you a fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage. Princes to act. And monarchs to behold the swelling sea. But pardon in gentles all. The flat of breezy spirits that have dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object. Can this cockpit hold the vasty fields of France? Or maybe cram within this wooden O oh, the very casks that did affright the air at Agincourt. Peace out our imperfections with your thought. Into a thousand parts divide one man. And make imaginary force of think when we talk of horses that you see them, printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth. For it is your thoughts that I must deck our kings, carry them here and there, jumping o'er time, and turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply in this course to this history, who prologue like your humble patience pray, gently to hear, kindly to judge, our play. <laughs> to play in our interlude before the Duke and Duchess on his wedding day. Uh, nice. Good Peter Quinn, say what the play treats on. Then read the names of the actors and so grow to a point. Mary, our play is the most lamentable comedy and most cruel death of Pyramus and Thisbe. Woo! Must love. Nay, nay, let me not play a woman. I have a beard coming. No, you, sh you shall play it in a mask, and you may speak as small as you will. And I may hide my face. Let me play Thisbe too. I'll speak in a monstrous little voice. Thisney, Thisney. Ah, oh, Pyramus, lover dear. No, 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 no. You must play Pyramus <laughs> and flute you, Thisbe. Tom Snout, the ticker. Here, Peter Quince. Tom Snout, you Pyramus's father, myself, Thisbe's father. And snug the joiner, you the lion's part. And I hope here is a place for me. Have you the lion's part written yet? If it be, give it me, for I am slow of study. Oh, no. <laughs> no, you may do it extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. Let me play the lion, too. I will roar. That will do many hearts good to hear me. I will roar, and that will make the duke say, let him roar again. Let me roar again. 
Let him roar again. Let him roar again. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no we were doing too terribly that the Duchess and the ladies would shriek, and that were enough to hang us all. That would hang us every mother's son. You can play no part but Pyramus. But Pyramus is a sweet-faced man. I pray you, fail me not. We will meet, and there we will speak most obscenely and courageously. Take pains, be perfect. Adieu. Why man he doth to stride the narrow world like a colossus, and we petty men us walk beneath his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonorable graves. Men at some point are masters of their fates. The fault, Brutus, is not in our stars, but in ourselves that we are underlings. Brutus and Caesar. Come be at Caesar. Why should that name be sounded more than yours? Sound them, it doth become the mouth as well. Weigh them, it is as heavy. Conch with them. Brutus will start his spirit as soon as Caesar. So in the name of all the gods at once, what meet us this on Caesar's feet that his Rome is so great? Age, thou art shamed. Rome has lost the breed of noble bloods. When went there by an age since the great flood, when could they say that Rome was encompassed within one only man? And of course, Rome is wide and indeed wide enough to encompass only one only man. Well, you and I have heard our fathers say there was a Brutus once who would have protected Rome enough easily as a king. Breath. 
that you are supposed to be feared. But hark! A voice. Say thou a while, and by and by, I will return to thee. Exit, exit pureness. Exit pureness. <laughs> must I speak? I marry must you. As true as truest horse may never tire. As true as truest horse may never tire. As true as truest horse may never tire. <laughs>
Law or Kindred, I will do it. And this night or tomorrow, he will love me. <laughs> so please, your grace, the prologue to Pyramus and Thisbe is addressed. If we offend, it is with our good will that you should think we come not to offend. The actors are at hand, and by their show, you shall know all that you are like to know. Confused, confounded. 
out of sword and room. Ah, the path of peerless. I, thy left path. I, thy left path. <laughs> <laughs> With heart doth hop, thus die. I, thus, thus, thus. Take that, that sword. <laughs> <laughs> now! <laughs> I'm dead. Now, am I fled? My soul is in the sky. Tongue, move thy light. Moon, take thy flight. Now, die, 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 die.